In this fast video, I'm going to show you this accumulation of 13 years that I've done in podcasting and my trek to figure out how to make podcasting the core of your marketing and use it for everything you need to do in your business as a business focused and minded podcaster. I want to show you exactly the tips, tools, and tricks workflow and all the cool stuff with AI, specific tools and ways to use them in this short, fast video. I want to show you how you can actually use this to grow your brand, your audience, your community, the tribe that's like the glue to everything you do, and ultimately drive more qualified leads and sales to your business. Hey, what's happening? You know it. We all know it. 2023 is almost gone. Poof. 2024 is coming around the corner, but we still have Q4 to make the most of it. So that's why the new HubSpot sales hub is here to help you and your team. And it's pretty epic. So this thing helps you along the whole customer journey. It ties everybody on your team together, your workflows, your operations, making sure no one's missing anything so you can deliver a better experience, a thing to your customers, but also get more revenue for your business. Let's close out the year strong. This is going to help you do it. So they also have a new conversational AI powered platform called ChatSpot. This thing is going to help you basically be your assistant to craft emails, different copy that you want to write, outline posts, and so many other ways and things that would take up hours of your time. Well, times have changed. You don't have to do that anymore. This thing also has 1400 integrations, which I'm sure it's going to work in your business. So tons of features, ways to get creative and how to use this. So right now, at the end of this year, we want to make sure that you're making the most of it. So go make the switch to HubSpot Sales Hub over at HubSpot.com slash sales. My name is Joe Fear. I'm the host of the Hustle and Flow Chart podcast. You can see the it looks just like this. And I have been doing this, like I said, for 13 years. This show is about seven years old. It's now well past uh, almost a couple million downloads, um, 550 plus episodes. It's now part of the HubSpot podcast network. Uh, it's actually kind of cool because right now they're featuring one of the episodes that I put out. And it's actually very related to what I want to show you here. There's a whole Dream 100 strategy how you can get introduced to anyone you want um, using this strategy. But you can see there's some awesome shows on the network. So this is just one thing I've learned on how to get the attention of big brands and millions of people in this audience. And over the years, I've interviewed legends. I mean, I'm, I'm talking about uh, people like someone you might know, Chris Kermitsos. <laughs> this is the, uh, the founder of PodFest. And um, I'm, I'm going to tie that in because a lot of you might know who Chris is, especially if you're from the PodFest community. Thanks for checking it out. Um, you obviously know him. But there have been so many other legends I've interviewed over the years. These are some of them here. Uh, Jordan Harbinger is another leading podcaster. Uh, the list goes on. I'm not going to go through all that now, but I mean, it's it's pretty insane uh, in terms of the amount of episodes. There's just the list goes on. And what I've done over the years with this podcast is make it the core of my marketing. So I'm talking about the core of everything that I do in terms of a business. Like I said, growing the brand, growing PR, this media attention, inbound media attention, um, referrals. I've been able to generate millions of dollars in the back of this content and actually create a lot of sales for software companies, a lot that are in here, um, affiliate, affiliate promotions, uh, sponsorships, and a whole bunch of different ways to get attention and kind of create this flywheel effect. And that's exactly what I want to show you. And at the end of this, I will give you an invitation to a business accelerator. It's actually a mastermind I'm doing. I'm just going to show you right now because it's, it's, it's pretty cool. And it's a it's something that's coming up in a few in about a few weeks actually uh, in Orlando, Florida. So I'm going to give you the details on this and an, an invitation if you would like it. And that's actually going to be held at the same time Podfest is happening on the 25th. So um, just just bookmark that for a second. But I want to show you 
first of all, this framework I promised you. And I'm going to walk through this kind of quickly. And then at the same time, I'm going to then show you some AI tools that I use and my team uses. And also I've been teaching my clients and partners and all that to essentially implement this system and do it in a way with intention. It's not complicated. There's actually four pillars. You can see first one is right there, second, third, and fourth down here. So I'm going to walk through them really fast. And then I'm going to fill in the blanks a little bit and show you the different tools. You can see I have them all lined up on top. There's a whole bunch more. And I'm going to show you just high level very quickly what these tools are and how to use them and why and how these all support you in your brand growth, your business growth, your audience growth. And uh, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So I'm going to give a little step back again and say this framework you're looking at is the flywheel that can generate all the attention you need in your business, all the qualified leads you need in your business to grow your email list, your, your groups, your community, ultimately bringing in the right people to your business to raise revenue. I mean, that's what we need to withstand all, everything we're doing. And I'm just going to say, uh, most podcasters, I actually reviewed or surveyed podcasters uh, about a year, year and a half ago or so, and uh, I've done it in years past too. It's only about, I think it's less than 5%, 3%, something like that is actually making profitable revenue from their podcasting efforts. That's got to change. And I want to flip that on its head. And what this gives you, it's not only the 80-20, I would say it's more like the 95-5 of what you need to do in a podcast to actually generate all that stuff I was talking about, brand growth, community growth, leads, and sales growth. And where it starts is your guest. It's, or, you know, if you're a guest focused podcast, you can really leverage this. But also at the same time, I'm talking about guesting on other podcasts because, as you probably know, as a business podcaster or someone who's been doing it a while, even if you're new, just imagine uh, podcast listeners listen to other podcasts. And that's really how you grow this thing. We'll get into marketing at the bottom and talk about why that is too and how you can enhance that. But you want it's all about selecting the right people to network with the ones that you can uh kind of borrow their authority their status their audience uh their stage their virtual stage if you're guesting over there so there's a whole process and i did talk about it and then you can even listen to the episode it's over at hubspot.com slash podcast network or you can find it on my website but it's all about the dream 100 strategy and that can allows you to get connected to who you want but at the same time, uh, it can allow you to figure out who should be a guest for your podcast. And there's a cool tool. It's called Refonic. And uh, you can see it at Refonic.com. And I'm going to zoom in. And this is a graph it shows you. And this isn't a brand new tool, but it's, it's really cool to look at. As you can see at the hub of this big old web here that spins around is my show. And obviously you can plug your own show in here. And what this is doing, it's pulling in data, listener data from Apple and telling you who, what kind of listeners are listening to your show. So then it starts to create this literal web neural network of what are the types of shows and people who are listening to your show. So what does this do for you? It helps you understand who who's your target audience like who's your target listener and if you picture who that person is now if we go back to here we start to figure out you know what's the relevance um what's their following size you kind of start to create a picture of who are these people that i should have on my show so maybe there's uh guesting opportunities you could do on some of these shows of course, some shows are larger, so it might be a little tough to get their attention. But let's be honest, you got to start somewhere. So maybe then you start clicking into another show and then you can go to their graph. You can see I can actually pull up other shows graphs, figure out who's listening to them. And then you can kind of start making your own map and your own list on who you should start networking with. Who can you reach out? Um, who can you ask introductions for? There's so many things you could do there. So that is the power of knowing where your or who your guest should be, either on your podcast or you on their podcast. So you can then start to generate some awareness to the right type of listeners. This is kind of marketing right here, but we're starting it from the very beginning because this thing is a flywheel. It starts spinning and spinning. And once you have nice workflows and systems and tools to help you, then you're really, really spinning. Now, 
another thing on the guest side is using good old chat GPT. So here's a little trick of how I quickly research for people uh, before I have them on my podcast. So this is an example, Sonia Thompson. I'm actually having her on my podcast tomorrow. Uh, she's on the HubSpot network as well. And I do more research than this, but this is just a nice kind of primer to shortcut hours of, of uh, research and dig, digging through the web. And so I'm just gonna walk you through the process. It's pretty simple. So I'm not using any fancy uh, chat GPT, custom GPTs. I will show you those in, in a second though. But if you can see, here's my prompt. I'm going to interview Sonia Thompson on my podcast, Hustle and Flow Chart. What do I need to know about her in quick, concise bullets? And what are some questions and topics I should cover to support business owners, marketers, and founders? And what I've done is then I've linked uh, Sonia where she, like her main website. This is um, a chartable smart link to her podcast. And then going down here, I just linked my podcast and then um, also the link on, so this is my website and then the link on Apple. I could have given a lot more context, trust me, but I kept it simple just to keep it simple. Sometimes what I would do is maybe add in some information that they provided to me, like their bio or certain topics that they like to talk about, but I didn't in this one. So this one, it gave me a full on intro or bio of who she is. So I'm not gonna read this whole thing, but at least it gives you a nice overview of who that guest is written for you. And then you can see, uh, using the information above, what are 10 podcast interview questions I could ask her that would benefit business owners and entrepreneurs? So then based off of that and also comparing my podcast and previous topics and knowing my audience, now it starts to give me some questions of what to think about. Now, these questions, I would never just read them off the cuff like that. But again, this is just giving, getting your brain motivated or at least uh, primed in the right direction. So you can then start thinking about specific questions that you can ask. Obviously, do your own research, but you can say, you know, describe the, the journey you've had in inclusive marketing and why it's vital in today. Uh, your experience at Johnson & Johnson and how it approaches marketing strategies now. What are some misconceptions about inclusion in marketing? Uh, what are some case studies? Uh, how can small business implement it? These are all pretty good questions. I would probably get a little bit more specific and wrap in some stories, but hey, I mean, this is... It, it, it's pretty dang good. Now, um, there's actually a bot and I'll, I'll there's uh, here it is right here. So this is a bot that I made and this is a custom GPT, which I in at this business um, a pos podcast accelerator, I'm going to give you access to all these things. And uh, so this thing basically automates how to create a curiosity gap framework and what the curiosity gap it's actually phil agnew from the nudge podcast he's also in the hubspot network um, it's a psychological way of creating a story in the very beginning so it's it's kind of like opening this gap in people's minds in the very beginning of a podcast and um and it basically creates a whole storyline so you can start to structure your podcast in a way creating a an open loop in a way and it's it's kind of like introducing things, but then not giving all the information up front. It's like, hey, I've done all of this work up front, 13 years of podcasting to do in, you know, not totally, it's, it's kind of bringing people into the content, your YouTube videos or your podcasts. And what I've done is I created this curiosity creator that basically you can plug in questions like what you have here, basically all this information, you can now plug it into a bot and then it starts to arrange how you would then edit or at least produce that podcast. Um, that's a little later down the line, you know, because we're now talking about maybe it's a good little uh, uh, transition into the second phase is the content production element. Big announcement here. The Hustle and Flowchart podcast is now the newest podcast on the HubSpot podcast network. They're the audio destination for business professionals. It's exactly why I joined the network to expand what we've been doing here, making business the fuel for your life, not the stressor or the burnout. We want to build fun and make business a big part of who we are and our expression out to others. So you're gonna expect a lot more more curated guests that sync up with this mission. Also more topics and episodes from me 
And I want you to keep listening to the Hustle and Flow Chart podcast. Go check out other shows on the HubSpot Podcast Network at HubSpot.com slash podcast network. Are you looking to earn more online? It's time to meet Kartra. It's your ultimate all-in-one business platform that makes it even easier to boost your income online. So with Kartra, creators, coaches, and experts can turn their knowledge and services into profits. You can create pages, funnels, and attract customers, build membership sites, and share your knowledge, automate your business so you can free up your time and do a whole bunch of other fun stuff. So Kartra has every tool you need to grow your business in one place. And the best part is that it's super affordable and easy to use. So now's the time to streamline and scale your biz. Head over to hustleandflowchart.com slash Kartra and snag a free 30-day trial. Again, that's hustleandflowchart.com slash K-A-R-T-R-A. And that's when we start actually creating the content. So what I'm talking about there is full-length episodes, recording those with audio and video with the best quality remotely is the way to go. And the tools that I use and the ones I recommend are uh, Descript and Squadcast. And primarily Squadcast first, because this is where you're going to capture the sessions. And you know it's, it's very simple to just start these sessions. You can you know, noise cancel, you can do the whole thing. It's very simple. Hey, look, it's me. And um, you can then join the session. You can invite people in and boom, once you hit uh, record and stop, it's being remotely recorded, well, from your side, but also on the other end. And it's pulling in the best quality audio and video from both of our sides. And then once you hit stop, you can actually seamlessly integrate that into, and I'm gonna stop that so it's not dragging me down here, um, Descript, which is a editing platform and I don't have it open. Well, I do have it open at this point because I am recording with Descript right now. Let's see if it pulls up here. You can see this is Descript, the interface. I'm actually using it to record my screen and my video. And what this is going to do is actually integrate with Squadcast. So either you as an editor or someone on your team can instantly, pretty much instantly, start editing that episode you just recorded. And you can see, you can uh, video editing, podcasting, screen recording, like I'm doing here, it transcribes it. It creates clips for you. It also even has AI features built in to help you kind of write descriptions for things. Now, this is the way to go. When it comes to creating your content and your production, you got to capture it locally, but also your guests in the highest quality way. And then why not make that whole production workflow seamless so then Descript is the tool you're editing with so someone even if they're remote across the world or wherever can get that shared file it's kind of like google drive where you don't have to transfer files no downloading and then re-uploading it's it just that that's way too much time so that's the point you got to nail that point there and when you capture full length audio and video guess what you can do you can content you can distribute that stuff everywhere the whole point is to get in front of your target audience and again that goes back to understanding who has your audience you always want to leverage you don't need to build this stuff from scratch and when you can distribute your content everywhere guess what that's now your marketing you now are starting to get seen on all the platforms all the social media platforms all the video distribution platforms the audio distribution platforms like podcast platforms this is how you do it and the tool i love to use at this process right after we start um editing or actually right after recording we throw it into cast magic so this is the tool you gotta use i love the guys at cast magic and the gals and what this is going to do is help you it does transcribe but again you can pipe it over into um from descript and i believe it's a lot cheaper there's some integrations to do It'll create show notes for you, summaries, social content. It's gonna basically save you like 20 plus hours per week. That's what it does for us. And it's so simple. You literally just add your file. You, uh, you can even link to a YouTube video and then it's going to generate a ton of content for you. So I'm just gonna use uh, John Asaraf, a buddy of mine that's about to go live. You can see this is the transcription that was created from our audio and you can name who's who, it makes it very simple. And then immediately it starts to generate this AI content. So we have keywords, we have a full introduction based off of the audio that was uploaded or video. 
it's going to pull out the key topics and the bullets that you can use for show notes or your social media posts or any kind of thing. It's going to find clips, quotes, hooks, timestamps of where they were, specific quotes. Um, let me scroll down here because I want to show you down. Oh, here we go. LinkedIn posts. So very, very thorough LinkedIn posts that are actually written in the words that they were described in on your podcast. So like literally you don't have to think about this stuff and I wouldn't just copy and paste and blast it out there to the internet. You can, it's not going to be bad. Again, it's probably 80, 20 or more than most. It's better than doing nothing. Uh, but at least tweak it into your own voice. And, and there's ways to go about that. That's a little deeper in other videos. So tweet threads, you can see that you can go crazy threads on Instagram, same kind of idea. Look, it's all lined out with emojis. I made some custom prompts in here, which you can do. You can see you can actually import prompts. And that's what I'm going to be doing over here at the, uh, the business podcaster accelerator at PodFest. I will be giving you basically a package of all the templates and the, uh, the prompts, all the tools, including those chat GPT GPTs <laughs> that we custom create. You're going to have access to all that stuff. So that's exactly why I want to give you kind of like this, this big treasure trove of goods. In addition to spending the time in a room on the uh, January 25th together over at PodFest, you're also becoming a VIP. So you basically get fed every single day. You get full access to the PodFest event. You get it all. You literally get it all. So uh, carrying on in cast magic here, I'm a little excited and my voice is going to go pretty soon. Uh, podcast emails, newsletters, it writes all this stuff for you. Effective titles like podcast titles. Um, this could be used on YouTube videos as well. Podcast intros. I made a Jordan Harpinger style email because you can model other people as a um, kind of a base or a, a concept to start things. Speaker bios, questions. I'm going to stop now because this literally can keep going and going. And it was produced within seconds. It's so cool. So what that does for you, what does it do? All right, so you're distributing content. What I did is I uploaded audio to Cast Magic. Now, all that written content can be used on social media platforms. It can be used for all of the descriptions and things copy written on audio platforms, even on video platforms for all the descriptions. Now you say, uh, how do I get YouTube videos and Spotify videos? Well, uh, there's a lot of technical bits to it, but obviously if you're using Descript, now you have YouTube covered. You want to be on YouTube because there's some cool podcast integrations now so you can get discovered more and increase your downloads. That wasn't a, in a, a possible just months ago. YouTube's now coming around. Spotify is helping out on video as well. You got to be on Anchor, I believe, and uh, Megaphone, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe some other details. Don't quote me on all that. It's changing all the time. But at the same time, you got to have some clips too. So um, Descript helps you out with that. Riverside dot fm helps but also this cool tool called uh, opus clip is also pretty sweet so what do you do here you upload your your video and look what it did it, it made a video with my eyes closed now so what it does is it actually yeah it's puts... great to be connected and it's such an important conversation to really think about how do you can't see it perfectly because the play button's in the middle but you can see now it's it's selecting clips from this full length video i put in there and what it's doing, and if I go a little further, and, and this is what's cool too, is you can try this out for free. Same with Cast Magic over here. I recommend this because you could try all these tools for free, you know, and they're giving you credit limits. So just, just try it out first. But I mean, this is a fast way to now create clips. I mean, there's no reason why we can't be showing up on all the platforms. And these look good. And you can see they're, they're, it's, it's great. So again, it gets you on social media on all the platforms. Of course, yes, you want to post. I mean, there are tools like Buffer, um, uh, Loomly, I think is another one that are used. But at the end of the day, I would recommend having a human post this for you or, or you doing it. It's, it's not rocket science, obviously. And that's part of the whole marketing side of things over here. So what do we talk about? Guest selection, content production, distribution and then marketing ultimately comes down to referral marketing organic and then paid and there's there's a whole sequence i would always recommend referral first that's things like contests getting people excited to to like and subscribe on your podcast to rate and review you you can uh, remind them there's a lot of cool strategies that i talk about and we're definitely going to be talking about it in the podcast accelerator i have a whole bunch of templates and 
things to go through that basically you can swipe and deploy for yourself. And again, too, too much information in this video. I'm trying to keep this quick and snappy for you. But organic and paid marketing strategies are also very effective. And I'm talking about targeting more podcast listeners because those are the quality people, the ones that are going to subscribe, rate, and review, and ultimately lead down the path of joining your email list through smart call to actions, and then ultimately you know, buying from you and, and growing your sales and uh, revenue. Excuse me. All right. I got to get back to you over here because I got to show you this cool tool that is part of marketing and it's something that is fresh out of the box. This literally just came out last week. It's called Delphi.ai, D-E-L-P-H-I.ai. Now what's cool is I've been using these guys since the beginning of 2023, stumbled upon them very, uh, I mean, I'm so happy I did, but basically long story short, what is Delphi? This thing clones your content and creates a voice for you. I'm going to zoom out a little bit so you can see this. But what it's doing is it inputs all of this information that you have. So it could be your podcast, YouTube videos. It could be text. It could be Slack messages. Um, you can speak into it and even write. Whatever it is, this thing is trained on you. Sounds a little creepy, but the point here is that now you can harness all this content you're creating in your podcasting on, on your YouTube videos. And now you can share a link like this one right here. That is a hustle and flow chart AI bot. And what's really cool is you can interact with it and say, um, you know, how do I grow my podcast? I don't know what it's going to say, but what this is doing is pulling from information, the 550 podcasts, that I have on my show, including the guests that were on there. And now it's bringing that information to life. And it's actually citing the different episodes and pieces of content that were used to train this bot. Now, what this can do also is really customize it to you, the end user. And what's beautiful, and you can see it's recommending more, uh, more, more questions. And what it will do is it'll ask specific questions to you and how you can... Uh, relate it to your business or whatever the, the specific scenario is. It's not just a general chat bot. It's going to actually ask about what your situation is. Now, here's what's cool. And this is why, why you got to check out Delphi.ai as well. And you can start for free. I highly, highly recommend it. Again, go to Delphi.ai. And what this is in, and what's really cool, I got in there early. I've been helping these guys out a little bit. They gave me some, um, they, they put me on as an advisor to their company, which I'm very, very excited about and honored. I was not expecting it. I just literally loved the tool. And that's why I seeked them out. Check this out. This is brand new. I hope this comes through in the audio. And uh, you're going to see something right here. You can actually speak. I'm speaking to me now, which is weird. But um, hey, Joe, how you doing? So I'm recording a video for the folks right now and showing off Delphi. So what's this all about? Tell me about it. I don't know if this is going to work. But let's see. So let's see if you can hear this. Hey, Joe, it's pretty wild to be chatting with your digital twin, right? I'm here to dive deep into the insights and stories from our Hustle and Flowchart podcast episodes. Think of me as your go-to for extracting the actionable nuggets from our conversations with amazing guests. Whether you're looking for marketing strategies, productivity hacks, or just some entrepreneurial inspiration, I'm your bot. Let's make this video pop with some cool takeaways. What specific topic are you curious about today? <laughs> All right. That's pretty good. I hope you got to hear that. And if not, I'm going to link everything in the show notes here to make sure that you got that. So this could be you. And what, what I did is I trained my voice on, um, on, on me and it can be better. It's a little flat. It needs more training, but it's brand new and it's pretty dang good. And you could do the same thing with your your content. And that's the whole thing. You own your content. That's what's beautiful. And you're training this clone for your audience to make your content more accessible and more shareable because this is all shareable as well. Um, and, and you can embed it on your own website. You can share it all around on social media, uh, email list, your business. It, it's endless. It's crazy. So a couple more tools because I'm talking about marketing and this is how you start getting that referral organic and, and ultimately the paid stuff, you know, there's a lot, there's a whole rabbit hole there, 
But a couple other tools that I've found interesting and ways to maybe create some ads or, or create new things for yourself that leverage you and your likeness and you can train it is Heijin is another option where you can actually create AI powered videos, train it on video and audio that you have. Another audio training is uh, Eleven Labs. It's probably the best out there. So, I mean, if you're looking to create like ads, for instance, or any, even a podcast from just straight up uh, generating and training your, your voice, this is how things like this are made. So I'm just kind of showing you a little bit behind the scenes of what's possible. Um, but just let your mind go wild on some of these things. It's pretty, pretty crazy. And this is the kind of stuff, again, at the Business Podcast Accelerator, the Mastermind at PodFest, which is happening on January 25th. I want to have you there. And you can get the information at hustleandflowchart.com slash accelerator. That gets you, uh, basically, there is a fee to it. And um, it's not cheap. It's not expensive. I mean, it's, it's however you make it. But the point is, when you leave there, when you leave the accelerator, you're going to have not only that full day mastermind with only 25 people or so in that room, you're going to have a new community of friends. Uh, you're going to have access to the full PodFest com um, uh, conference there in Orlando from the 25th of January to the 28th, 2024. You are going to be a VIP ticket holder there. So you get fed. We're having a full on uh, meal on, on the podcast day as well. And not only that, you're getting access to a bunch of training I have online. So there's a new training called Pod, uh, Podcasting to Profits in an online community that's just now launching. So you're going to be able to connect not only in person, but online with everyone in that room, plus some others that, will, that won't be able to make it in person. And uh, you'll be able to continue all this fun and share the tips and tricks and get feedback from everyone. There's also pod hacker training. This is how you literally grow your podcast. And there, I have templates, tools, there's a checklist, all these things that you can use. Basically, you're going to have everything is what I'm saying. <laughs> and um, the in-person mastermind is probably the best part of it all. Now, if you can't make the mastermind for whatever reason, let me know. It's okay. You still have a lot you can get here, and it's just kind of a tweak of the package. So here's the deal. Go to hustleandflowchart.com slash accelerator, and on that page, you're going to see an option. There's going to be a little pop-up. If you want to book a call with me, I'm happy to do a session about 15 minutes or so, and we can chat about this and see how it fits for you, your business, and your podcast, because this is made for the business podcaster. So you're going to walk away with all these tools. Yes, you're going to have the online resources and the online community and things like that, but also you're going to have all of the, the, the things that you need to get done, basically done in person together. I'm going to have my podcast producer there in-house on, on site uh, at the, the mastermind. I'm also going to have my team remotely helping to help you develop all the things necessary in this workflow here. We're going to do hot seats. You're going to make sure that you're, you're getting your questions, your, your everything audited essentially in person and done by the time you leave. And if it's not done, it's pretty dang close to it. It's probably further than you've ever thought about it. So we've done this before back uh, a couple of years ago, right? Pre-pandemic. And Chris Kremitzos, he doesn't do this often. I don't think ever. Uh, and he recorded a video, which you can find uh, on YouTube. I might link that too. But it was an epic event last time, and it's going to be even better this time. So I can't wait to have you there. Again, go to hustleandflowchart.com slash accelerator. I would love to have you in person. Book a call with me if you have any questions at all. And uh, and that's I, I just can't wait to meet you. So um, if there's other things, like if you're a PodFest attendee already, obviously you have some investment into attending uh, PodFest at, uh, itself. So the ticket price. So things like that. If you have questions about that, just, just book a session with me or even email me at joe at hustleandflowchart.com. Again, that's joe at hustleandflowchart.com. I'm going to make sure that everything is worked out and, uh, and basically getting you in there, making sure that you get the best deal, uh, especially if you've already committed to go to PodFest because this is something we're working on with Chris over there. If you're not going to PodFest, I highly recommend it. And this is the package for you. It's going to give you everything you need. All right, so... Thank you very much again for watching. And what this was, again, is 13 years plus of 
podcasting, but also even marketing and, and uh, putting all this stuff together with content and how to grow and, and sell online using podcasting. This is your hub for marketing, and this is how you're going to grow in 2024 and beyond. I can't wait to meet you. Again, hustleandflowchart.com slash accelerator has all the information. Book a call if you have questions. If you just want to sign up right away and claim one of the 25 spots, you can do that as well right on the page. So can't wait to see you there. Appreciate you so much and see you in Orlando. Bye.